Perplexity is getting ready to release a brand new browser app for Android called Comet that I got early access to. And since it's releasing tomorrow, I can finally show you why this is one of the most exciting browser apps that I've used in years. We're gonna start right from the beginning where we get this beautiful splash screen animation, which you only get to see and enjoy the very first time that you launch the app. But all we gotta do once it's complete is swipe here and then we'll get taken to this onboarding page, which gives you a few examples of how you can use the app, but we'll tap continue. And from there, you can choose to log in with a Google account or email. So I'm gonna tap continue with Google, select my Google account. Within a moment or two, we're in. The app will then prompt you to set it as the default browser, which I'm gonna do like so. And that's it for the setup process and we're now ready to make use of it. So the thing that makes Comet unique is its built-in AI called Comet Assistant. Of course, you've still got all your standard browser features like tabs, forward and back arrows, a search bar and so forth. But right in the middle of this new tab page here is where things start to get really fun. Just as an example, let's start with one of these pre-filled suggestions that Comet provides. So I'm gonna tap this one here that says, add today's best-selling book to my cart. And here's the magic. Unlike asking a traditional AI assistant like Perplexity AI to find the best-selling book, which would just search the web and give you results in a listicle format, Comet actually takes control of your browser navigating on its own, and it'll show you this blue glow on the edge of your screen as it does so. And so as a result, as you can see here, it's not only gone off and found the top selling book, but it's actually added it to my cart for me. And if you're wondering what it actually did behind the scenes, just tap the assist button at the bottom and that'll bring up a full breakdown of the task that Comet completed. And if you tap the top section, you'll see all of the 11 steps that it took to get there. So it opened up an online book retailer. It confirmed which book was actually trending. Then it made sure that it was in stock and then it added it to my cart without missing a beat. Oh, and real quick, for those interested, Comet actually has a stack of layered safeguards behind the scenes. So everything it does is designed to protect your privacy. It uses local storage to keep your data secure while it browses. And so essentially it's doing the heavy lifting for you without compromising your safety. And so there you go. That's just a very little taste of what Comet can do. Let's now unpack five more use cases that can take it even further. So let's tap the search bar at the bottom of the new tab page, and this will bring your keyboard up alongside some options for suggested sites. But all I'm gonna do is tap my keyboard's voice input button and then say, give me recommendations for the best Android phone to buy right now. I'll then hit enter and it'll go through and review various sources and collate that information into a neat summary for me to read through. And look, to be fair, this is fairly similar to what AI assistants can already do, but here's where it gets really fun. Once I've found something that I like, I can then have it search multiple stores for the best price and then even add the best one directly to my cart. So here I'll tap the search bar again, tap my keyboard's microphone and say, find me the best deal on a new Samsung Galaxy S25 Ultra that's in stock on the website and add it to my cart. I'll hit enter and that's literally it. Off it goes with that blue glow around the edges indicating that it's controlling the browser for me and it'll check prices across the internet. Now I'm gonna speed this process up a bit just for the sake of this video because it can take a minute, but in real life, this could actually be a great chance to put my phone down for a bit and do something else. Eventually though, once it's done, it'll bring me to a checkout page where the phone gets added to a cart ready for me to buy. Now, initially when testing earlier versions of Comet, I did have to get fairly precise with the wording of my searches. So I had to include phrases like in stock, otherwise Comet sometimes took me to websites where the product wasn't actually available. However, when filming this video, it worked perfectly every time. So happy days. Here's another potential use case. You know, when you're at a checkout page and you see that little promo code box and you instantly feel the urge to Google brand name plus coupons. Well, with Comet, that's a thing of the past. So here I'm on a checkout page for a product that I wanna buy. And because Comet can see the context of the page that I'm on, I'm just gonna tap down here, then my keyboard's microphone and say, find promo codes for this page and test them to make sure they work. I'll hit enter and because Comet can see that promo code field, it will automatically fetch any potential codes, test them one by one, figure out which ones are valid and apply the best discount straight to my cart. It's actually fascinating seeing the thing work in real time, but in theory, this should mean that gone are the days where you have to mess around with those dodgy promo code apps that pretend to save you money. Comet just goes through the process for you without any biases. And as you can see, once all is said and done, it actually succeeded in finding a code that works. 
Now, as expected, Comet isn't a magician, so if a store or website doesn't actually have any active codes, then it can't just magically come up with one that will work. But if a website does have any active codes, because of its specialty in real-time web search, Comet won't behave like other AI assistants where they often just give you codes based on common phrases that just straight don't work. It'll actually search and find real codes and try them for you. So if it does find an active code, it will work. And again, you don't have to be using your phone during this process. So not only is it saving you money, but it's also saving you time. From there, let's take a look at how I can use Comet to find specific parts of a YouTube video for me. So let's tap the search bar, then I'll tap my microphone and say, play the exact moment Neil Armstrong says, one small step for man. I'll hit enter and check this out. It'll literally sift through every relevant Neil Armstrong video available, analyze all of their transcripts, and then take me to the exact correct timestamp within the YouTube video that I'm after. I mean, come on, you gotta admit that that is seriously cool. Or let's say that I've already got a video open, like this one here, for example. I could tap down here and say, tell me in this video where Sam talks about setup issues and hit enter. And then off it goes, again, analyzing the transcript. And there we go, it's immediately told me the correct timestamp and even given me a summary of what is said in that section as well. And check this out, I can even tap here again and then tap my keyboard's microphone and say, get the thumbnail for this video then tap enter and boom, within moments, it'll extract the thumbnail URL and I can then copy that, open up a new tab, paste it in and hit enter and there it is. And I can then long press, tap on download image and save that to my device. Okay, now we all know that AI is great for collecting and showing information, but the key thing that makes Comet different from using a separate AI app is that it can actually understand the context of the page that you're on and therefore pull information from that page as well as any surrounding pages really, really quickly. So for example, here I'm looking at the Galaxy S25 Ultra on Google, and there are actually a whopping 87,000 plus unique reviews here, all with different insights. And so instead of having to sift through all of them myself, which let's be honest, ain't nobody got time for that. All I need to do is simply tap the assistant button at the bottom, then tap on my keyboard microphone and say, summarize the product reviews. I'll hit enter and Comet will immediately scan the page, analyze every single one of those reviews. And once it's done, it'll provide a detailed breakdown, providing me with the common positive feedback and common criticisms. Let's do another one. Here, I'm looking at an article from The Verge and rather than having to read the whole thing, I'm gonna get Comet to jump in here and help me pull out just the information that I wanna know. So once again, I'll tap this button here and then the microphone and say, summarize this article and give me the specs for the new Steam Machine console. I'll hit enter and before I even have time to think about whether it's working, Comet's already combed the article, pulled the information from various available pages and delivered me a really helpful dot point summary alongside the known specs. Seriously cool. Okay, last example when it comes to Comet's summarization abilities and this one is definitely relatable. You know those recipe websites where the authors feel the need to tell you their entire life story before finally showing you how to make the damn thing? Well, rather than having to scroll through the entire website to find the ingredients and the instructions at the bottom, I can just say to Comet, get me the recipe. I'll hit enter and it will pretty much instantly provide me with a dot point list of ingredients and the method to make the dish. All right, just for one final really quick use case, Check this out. If I tap this tab icon, as you can see, I have a stack of open tabs, which is a very common occurrence for me. But rather than having to sift through these and close any that I don't want open anymore and so forth, I can just tap to open a new tab, tap on the search bar and say, delete all tabs older than 30 minutes. I'll hit enter and within moments, all the relevant tabs are gone and I'll just tap here to make sure. And yep, there we go. We're only left with the most up to date ones. So as you can see, it's a pretty amazing tool, combining the power of AI search with an assistant that can actually navigate and get stuff done for you. But given it's a very, very new app on the scene, there are just a couple of things to keep in mind. So for example, sometimes if you're not paying attention, it won't be completely obvious when an action is completed. Now, this isn't necessarily a bad thing because more often than not, it just leaves you right on the page that you were hoping to land on. But I have had a few instances where it didn't actually take me all the way through to the right page and therefore just kind of left me hanging. The other thing that would be an amazing feature to get added in the future is for it to be able to continue working in the background. So as I said, sometimes these tasks can take a minute or so, sometimes even more if it's highly complex. And so I'd love to be able to either lock my phone or switch to a different app altogether while it's still working away rather than having to keep it open. 
But aside from all that, don't forget that in its most basic form, Comet is actually a browser app and a pretty clean one at that. And so for the most part, you can just use it as your main browser. And then if you come across a scenario where you then feel like the Comet Assistant might be able to help out, having it accessible right within the app without having to switch to another app, for example, it's honestly fantastic. And so there you have it. That is Perplexity's brand new browser app, Comet. And as I said, even though it's still early days, it is an absolute ripper. A big thanks needs to go to Perplexity for partnering up with me to make this video possible. It's brands like Perplexity who keep this channel running. So a big, big thank you to them. If you enjoyed the video, then a sub would be greatly appreciated. But aside from that, thank you all very much for watching and I will catch you later.